Welcome to Movie Review Thy South the Normal with your host, moi, Michael Soren. Uh, today we're talking about She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, the series. Uh, She-Hulk wrapped up last week um, with its ninth episode. It, uh, the whole series follows Jen Walters uh, as she navigates complicated life of a single 30-something attorney who happens to be six foot seven tall, green, and super powerful, like, like the Hulk, her cousin, Bruce Banner. How she became She-Hulk, her and Banner got into a car accident, and somehow Banner bled into her. Because of that, she became a Hulk. The series, um, it was interesting how they put it together and portrayed it to everyone. Because there's a lot, like, Jen Walters is hyper aware of what's going on. She's very aware of superheroes. And she talks to, like, she, the camera, very Ferris Bueller-ian, if you will, throughout the series and kind of satires that genre. Uh, the main villain build is Titania, played by Jamila Jamil. You barely see her. She's kind of a throwaway villain, if you ask me. Tatiana Maslany was good in the part, not great. I enjoyed her performance as Jennifer Walters She-Hulk. Her sister, Ginger Gonzaga, was hilarious as Nikki Ramos, her P, um, paralegal. So that was... Uh, Kind of an interesting dynamic they had because she was all like but one of the plot lines is Jen struggle struggles to have a relate like a love life and she's just looking to not be single anymore. But she struggles with all the new age social medias and stuff. Her paralegals all down for that and able to kind of like act as her guide through all that. We got some cameos through this, so pause. There's gonna be some spoilers here. Should you not want to hear them, stop. Just move on. Come back to me when you can. I'll wait. But not too long, because I got to keep going. Um, the Hulk makes a cameo. The Abomination's in it. Tim Roth there. Um, Wong comes in. Benedict Wong character from Doctor Strange. You get uh, Daredevil is in it. It's kind of like a re-announcing him to the Marvel Universe. And in the end, we have the spoiler again. Hulk has a son. So that was interesting to see that route taken. But throughout the series, you watch Jen deal with overbearing parents, having a career not being treated fairly because she's a woman in a male-dominated field. Um, check out all my other reviews. I'll post in the description. From the, from the various episodes. I didn't do every episode. Um, still debating whether or not I want to do that for shows like this. But it was an interesting dynamic because you don't get that perspective that often. And sometimes when you do, it's so overbearing. It's so cram it down your throat. Like this is the problem that it, it, it can turn you off, which coming from a male, I can understand hearing that I'm offline, I'm out of base. Tell me in the comments about that. Like, I understand that maybe that's why I can't get behind it in, like, the more serious sense. Maybe there's just something in my brain that's not not going to click. Um, so maybe that's my problem. I don't know. But She-Hulk, like, I enjoyed watching this way. It was portrayed in She-Hulk. It did add some layers to her character. I really enjoyed the fourth wall breaking on this series and how it, like, set, like, she was a satirically talking about how in every Marvel movie there's a formula, which there is. Every show there's kind of a formula. This one kind of breaks it a little bit. And the... When you're watching it, I think episodes four and five, maybe five and six, it gets real like a lull. Like that's like uh these episodes could have like been done differently, in my opinion. Then the last few, it swings back up, with the last one being overly satirical to the point where they introduce uh Kevin, K-E-V-I-N, who's supposed to you think it's Kevin Feig. It's really just a robot trying to make all these shows. And so it's a very satirical take and it's very just, it's different than what we've gotten from Marvel so far. 
writing wise, like, they're Marvel movies. What can they be written better? Probably. Are they going to be? Eh, who knows? Because it's more about, and unfortunately, it might be pendulum swinging. It's more about content fodder than quality for a lot of the stuff. It's, it's a huge universe. There's a lot of stories to tell. And sometimes you can just, it just maybe not enough attention is paid to it. I feel She-Hulk could have gotten more out of what we got. Uh, I liked what we got. I'm happy with what we got, but could have been more probably. Let me know in the comments if you agree with that. Heard a lot of flack from She-Hulk as my ear falls out. Um, a lot of people hated this show. Like, just wanted to review bomb it. Uh, I I dug it. I dug what they were dig- laying down. The twerking scene was just like, really? Did we need that? That's just my, that's. But it was just interesting because like the different dynamic, like Banner talking about what he's had to do to control his anger and blah, blah, blah. And, and how Walters is just like leaps and bounds ahead of him and that ability because of how she like her normal day life, how she's basically had to do that every day in and out just to be taken seriously and succeed. The comedy was nice reprieve. Like I always enjoy it. Like I enjoy a good villain story and I enjoy when something that's supposed to be really serious doesn't take itself that seriously and pokes, pokes fun at itself. Uh, definitely worth a watch. And in the rankings of things, it's mid-level to mid to upper Marvel series wise. Um, it's not the best, like I said, but it's definitely better than most. So I'm looking forward to where they go with She-Hulk. I don't know if she'll get more series or appear in movies. That is kind of the joke in the end is she has to be in a movie and Kevin's just like, no. Um, yeah, check it out on Disney Plus if you haven't already. Drop it in the comments. Let me know what you think. It is nine episodes total. Not a terrible watch. Um, probably could binge it in three days if you did 333. Three, three. Uh, or if you're like me, just play, go. And then when you're <laughs> crusty, stuck to the couch, you just peel yourself off and do this. Uh, but She-Hulk streaming now, worth a watch, uh, very much so. I can't say that for Miss Marvel. I still haven't finished that one, so don't I? As much as I'm a Marvel shill, I do have uh, my limits. I do have do have some stuff I can like, take a break from there. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. She-Hulk, worth a watch. Um, mid-level Marvel stuff, overall. Oh. <laughs>